In this video, I will describe the difference between isolation and quarantine. Your textbook uses the two concepts interchangeably, but there's an important difference. This slide summarizes the stages of infectious agent transmission, from transmissibility to pathogenicity or the occurrence of symptoms. Quarantine is used to prevent the spread of infectious disease from a potentially exposed person to another. In the case of quarantine, a person who we suspect has been exposed to an infectious disease agent, but who does not have any disease symptoms, is kept separate from other people to prevent transmission. Quarantine occurs during the incubation period, or the time between infection and symptom onset. Quarantine lasts until we are confident that the person has either never infected in the first place, is no longer infected, or develops disease symptoms. Isolation is similar to quarantine in that we are keeping someone separate from other people to avoid disease transmission. However, in the case of isolation, the separation happens once the person has developed symptoms from the infection. So to summarize, both isolation and quarantine involve the physical separation of a member of the host species from other members with the purpose of preventing the spread of disease. Quarantine occurs prior to symptom onset, while isolation occurs after symptom onset.